Back in February, I made predictions for the 2023 NASCAR season. And the offseason's now here with Ryan Blaney taking the championship. So let's go ahead and see how I did with the predictions. I'm really curious to see how I did. Prediction number one. Chase Elliott will win his eighth road course race this season. For the bonus point, that win will come at Sonoma. Nope. Nope. Yeah, unfortunately, Chase Elliott decided to go snowboarding and learned a lesson from that. And then he ends up going winless and, and ends up deteriorating throughout the entire season. Prediction number two. Kyle Busch will go winless in 2023. And for the bonus point, he will not make the playoffs. Nope. Nope. Yeah, Kyle Busch definitely pulled a fast one on me by winning the second race of the season. I really was not expecting Kyle Busch to have this great of a season with RCR in just his first season. But, to be fair, it is Kyle Busch. He always finds a way to win one race a year. So, no point. Prediction number three. Tyler Reddick will win at least three races this season. And for the bonus point, he will make the final four. Nope. Nope. Man, I really thought this was going to be Reddick's year. I thought 2311 Racing was really going to help him out, and I thought he maybe could have made the championship four and possibly won the championship. But he did make the round of eight, though, which was pretty impressive, to say the least. But I really thought he was going to make the final four this year. Prediction number four. Ryan Priest will win a Cup Series race. For the bonus point, he will win the Spring Darlington race. Nope. Nope. While Priest had some pretty good finishes here and there, he really was just way too inconsistent and really wasn't that great this season. But Stuart Haas really wasn't that great this season alone, so no point either way because he didn't win. Prediction number five, Austin Sindrick will win at least one race this year. For the bonus point, that win will be at the Indy Roval. Nope, nope. And of course I give him the sophomore slump because I jinx him and he doesn't win at all and he goes winless and he doesn't make the playoffs either. Wow, Cendric, you really had to have a sophomore slump out there. Prediction number six. There will be at least two big wrecks in the Daytona 500's final stage. And for the bonus point, one of those wrecks will include 13 cars at least. Yeah, this one was kind of a gimme, but I'll still take it. Also, yes, the wreck that had Jimmy Johnson involved Yep, that one had exactly 13 cars in it as I looked it up. Prediction number seven. The winner of the Clash will not make the final four. And for the bonus point, that winner is going to be Kevin Harvick. Nope. It was actually Martin Truex Jr. that ended up winning the Clash. However, he did not make the final four, so that's at least worth one point. Prediction number eight. Jimmy Johnson will finish in the top 10 in the Daytona 500. And for the bonus point, this is a long shot, and it's probably not going to happen, but hey, screw it, why not, it's my predictions video. He wins the Daytona 500. I know everyone's going to be like, no he's not. Well, it's Daytona. No one knows. Nope, nope. Yeah, I'm a Jimmy Johnson fan, so I was kind of being over on that one, but I was still really excited to see Jimmy Johnson return no matter what, even though he wrecked out. Prediction number nine, Denny Hamlin will not win the championship. And for the bonus point, he won't even qualify for the final four. I was so happy when Denny Hamlin missed the championship four again, because I've honestly gotten so sick and tired of Denny Hamlin being such a hypocrite, especially after Pocono. I legit hate him after that. I hate him still to this day. Prediction number 10. Ty Gibbs will make the playoffs. And for a bonus point, his first win will come in one of the rounds at the playoffs. Nope, nope. He actually was fairly close to making the playoffs at least, but he didn't, and he also didn't get a win in the playoffs. So, no points. Prediction number 11. Over half of the cautions at Texas Motor Speedway will be due to tire failures again. And for the bonus point, NASCAR will announce that they will no longer be coming to the Speedway within the next three years. Nope, nope. Nope, this time it was actually for brake failures. So it doesn't count. Also, NASCAR never said anything about leaving the track anytime soon, so no points. Prediction number 12. Brad Keselowski will end his losing streak and will win at least one race in 2023. And for the bonus point, one of those wins is at the Spring Martinsville race. Nope, nope. I cannot believe Keselowski did not win this season. He was really, really good this year and he was really close to winning several races, but he didn't, so... Can't reward myself any points either. Prediction number 13. 
Alex Bowman will redeem himself from last year by winning more than one race and will make it to the round of eight. Nope, nope. Nope, he also goes winless and misses the playoffs as well. And on top of that, he also got injured as well, which doesn't help either. Prediction number 14. There will be at least one crash where a car ends up in the catch fence. And for the bonus point, it will happen at any series at any of the Daytona races. Nope, nope. I am honestly glad I got this prediction wrong, but nonetheless, I still got a prediction wrong, so we gotta mark that on the scorecard as incorrect. But yeah, we did see a couple of few crashes that were near the catch fence that could have been a catch fence crash, but it didn't go in the catch fence, so it doesn't count. And finally, prediction number 15, Chase Elliott will qualify for the final four again. And for the bonus point, he will enter the championship four race with four wins at least. Nope, nope. Wow. Just, wow. That hurt to hear. That one was just hard to listen to. All right, well, after all that, I am now excited to announce the results. Overall, this season was pretty good for what it was. I think there was some good racing overall. There were some good tempers flaring. There was some good action pack racing. And overall, it was a pretty exciting season for the most part. I wonder what my final score was. You guys really want to know, right? You really want to know? Because there are a lot of X's, I know that. All right, well, the final score is... Only five of 30 were correct. Yeah, I double checked and made sure that was the correct score. And that was the correct score. Five of 30. Approximately 17% of those predictions I made were correct. That is embarrassing. I'm definitely not doing this again next year. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment, I guess. Yeah, bye.